Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my August or summer book haul because I don't really like film a monthly book haul like other booktubers do because I don't buy that many books. So I guess I'm gonna call this my summer book haul. How is it September already? It was literally just like January two minutes ago. I don't get it. So if you like any video that I ever post on this channel, why don't you subscribe down below, like this video if you like book hauls, and comment down below what books you bought this summer. Let's get to the video. So I'm gonna start off with four books. Three of them I bought this summer, one of them I already showed you guys, but I'm including it with the other three just to show y'all what they look like completed, and that is these classics that I bought on Book Outlet, and they are, I believe, the Puffin collection, maybe? I'm not quite sure. So as I've showed you already, here's my Peter Pan edition which is so pretty. I love Peter Pan. I'm obsessed with this. It has the boats and it has a little fairy and moons and it's just so pretty and I love it so much. The next one that I have is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. It's just an orange cover with a like pink reddish steamboat with some birds flying on it with some guys in a little canoe and this one's really big and I love how big it is and like how tiny these books are and like they're just so pretty and I love them so much. The next one that I have in that collection is The Call of the Wild by Jack London. So it has a little wolf howling right above the title and it has some trees on it and some like some like dogs on like the what's it called when they're like in the snow and they're like ushering or whatever. I can't think of the word but you get what I'm saying. It's so pretty and I love it so much. They're so pretty. And the last one that I have in that collection is The Secret Garden by Francis Hodges. Adagusan Burnett. I'm so sorry that I can't pronounce that. So we have a little key right here with some flowers and some birds and it's just really really pretty and I love these collections so much. They're so pretty on my shelf and I just love them so much. So the next book that I have here is a really really big one. It is three books in one big book so it's a three book bind up and that is The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. So it has The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. Oh, I'm sorry, four books, not three, four books in one. So it's really, really pretty. It has the red edges and it's just a really simple little pretty book. It has the built-in bookmark. So I have read The Giver and I've watched the movie. So I will tell you what The Giver is about. It's about a boy named Jonas who lives his life in this black and white town like everyone else and they are a really really simplistic town they don't have snow rain winter it's always the exact same thing every single day and it's so boring well jonas becomes the giver of memories so there's this other giver and he gives jonas these memories of what our world like us our world is like so he starts seeing in color and getting all these awesome memories and some horrible memories and it's really frustrating frustrating for him that others don't understand what he's trying to say. So it's just about his life figuring out what our world is like and what he is actually missing out on. And it's so awesome. I recommend The Giver to anyone, the movie and the book. I loved both of them so so much. You should definitely go check this out. The next book that I bought is The Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass, which is a signed first edition. Um, I found this at a local Books a Million a few months ago and I didn't pick it up and then my friend and I went back a month ago or so and I bought it. I don't even own A Court of Thorns and Roses. I just own the second book in this series but I bought it mainly because it was signed. But what I gather from hearing about it from other people is that it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling with fairies and stuff like that. This book, I've heard so many people, this is their favorite book of 2016 so far. I'm really looking forward to getting A Court of Thorns and Roses and starting the series because it just sounds so good and I've heard Ma Sarah J Mass's writing is awesome. I've never read any books by her so I'm really looking forward to pick this series up soon. The next book that I bought is Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is just the Lavina story novel out of the Lunar Chronicles series. I believe that it comes after Cress. I'm not quite sure because if you read this you'll understand winter better which is mainly the reason why I bought Ferris was whenever I go into winter I'll know her story and 
all about her better because as of right now I hate winter I I understand she gets better but once I read this and then I go into winter I think I'll have a better understanding of why why she is the way she is and her life and all that kinds of stuff so the next book is one that I received in the owl crate box from August if you watched my unboxing video which I will leave a link to right up in one of these corners with the little eye I will leave a link to that if you want to go watch that. But I received this book in the Owl Crate box, and that is P.S. I Like You by Casey West. This book is about a girl named Lily, I believe. Yes. A girl about a girl named Lily who writes some song lyrics on her desk one day in chemistry class, I believe. And the next day she comes back and the song lyrics are continued and finished. And so all of a sudden she has this mysterious pen pal. And it's all about, you know, that and little high school romance. And it just sounds right up my alley. I'm so looking forward to get into this book. I hopefully will read it after I finish The Unexpected Everything by Miss Morgan Matson. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. And yeah, I'm really excited to get into it. <laughs> the last book of my summer slash August book haul is Another Day by David Le Levithan. I believe this is the second book in the everyday like series or something. So he wrote the first book called Every Day and every day this person wakes up and they are a new person. And that sounds so cool. I have known about Every Day for a few years now from a teacher at school and whenever he talked about it it sounded so interesting. I finally had the chance to pick it up earlier this year. I haven't had the chance to read Every Day yet but I wanted to have another day so whenever I finish every day I can jump right into this one and I hope it's just I hope it's as good as he made it sound like waking up as a different person every day is such a good book idea like I love it and I cannot wait to read it so that was my summer slash August book haul I hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment down below and let me know what books you bought this summer what books you have read this summer and yeah I guess I'll see you guys later bye